This program has been classified for general viewing. Once a jolly swagman who can't buy a billabong under the shade of a coolabar tree and he sang as he watched and waited till his billy boiled he'll come a waltzing Matilda with me Waltzing Matilda Waltzing Matilda Hello Dakar and welcome to Thai Oz Talk wherever you are in the world today I'm Jay Walton for NBT National Broadcasting Services Thailand for TGN, the Thai Global Network, and of course we always remind you we're in 177 countries. And for Channel 31 in Adelaide in South Australia. At this time of the day, wherever you are in the world at your time, I'm always excited to be sharing this beautiful Swiss Hotel Nilert Park with you. The fact that you can see the garden and the trees and the swimming pool behind me means that you can at least pretend you're here until you're actually here yourself. In today's program, we're going to talk about new developments at Ma Maison, the marvellous restaurant right underneath where we're greeting you. It is going to be the place that you want to come all the time, I'm sure. Uh, we're going to talk about Shinawat University there's so many interesting educational opportunities here in Thailand and we try to bring them to you in this program. And we're going to share with you events at Blue Elephant. You know they do so much to help people in the National Cancer Institute to feel happy. We like to make them feel happy and share it with you too. It's a comparatively new university and I'm very pleased indeed today to welcome to the program and to introduce to you Associate Professor Dr. Kantatip Sihaneti, the Program Director in Master of Education in Teaching English as an International Language. Sawadika, welcome back to the program. And to welcome particularly this morning, Kun Nachanon Boonsorn, a Shinawat University first year student. Sawadika, and welcome to the program. Uh, you're working in the School of Technology and you were a recipient of the TICOM Scholarship. I know you've had a wonderful experience with this. Tell me about the work that's happening at the university, because it's quite unique, isn't it? Yes. Uh, this university, uh, in the first place, uh, uh, even though uh, it is uh, only 10 years old, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, we, uh, uh, in particular, uh, we focus on the uh, global issue uh, uh, so you know the design uh, let me say that the design of the buildings and the campus is based on uh, the awareness of the global issue challenge uh, the and building is quite unique isn't it yes it is because you know uh, the designer let uh, me uh, mention his name professor sunthon bunyatikan you know mm -hmm. the architecture from chulalongkorn university formerly uh, he helped design the building uh, according to the concept of like uh, uh, bioclimatic uh, control so you know uh, the environment and uh, especially the energy saving cost is taken into account in in the designing so well, as a result of his work, you received the ASEAN Energy Award, didn't you? Yes, in uh, July 2003, uh, Shinawat University uh, got uh, the winner prize of the, uh, from the ASEAN Award in uh, Energy uh, Conserving or Efficient Energy uh, Buildings type. Are there many students at the university? Uh, well, we have a small number of, of students, you know, uh, around uh, 300 in all. Mm -hmm. So, uh, quite a small number in comparison with other universities. But you've been sensitizing your students, haven't you? In right. to make them aware of global warming. Yes, yes, you know, uh, at uh, SIU, International University, uh, we have many programs that, you know, uh, encourage students to take part uh, in uh, a lot of programs, like we have programs in uh, mangrove forestation, uh -huh, and uh, we have also uh, 
programs uh, that uh, allow the student leaders to uh, involve in the student leadership development program. And you know, Nachanon can can also talk about yes, that. Yes, well, uh -huh. you were very fortunate. Does one say a successful student is fortunate, or does one say you worked very hard and you were win you were a winner? <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, you worked very hard. I do sometimes, but it's not like only me. It's like every everything that's going to be success. It needs cooperative from every part, and I believe that anything that success come from all the students in the university, not only me. It's because everybody helping each other. Yes, but you had the, the opportunity to travel, didn't you? Yes, I did. <laughs> Tell me about that trip. Okay. Uh, the most recent one is going to be about the WWF, which is the Worldwide Fund for Nature. Uh, Shinawatra University has some students who go for the interview in the Youth Tiger Summit. Like This is the first time in Thailand that we are going to have the Youth Ambassador to help conserving the tiger and for the WWF Mekong which is responsibility is on Thailand and Myanmar they have chance to choose the student from Thailand and Myanmar to go into this program the summit and two students from Chinawatra University got the, the place on this and one, one is me I am the representative of Thai ambassador and another student from also Shinawatra University is the representative of Myanmar, uh, Anna or Kim Mo Piat. This is going to probably set you on a career path, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I think it's going to be one of the greatest experience I have because I believe that I'm going to work with the people who I have never knew before, but all of them are performance that and they all come with quality and this is going to be a big chance for me and I think it's going to open my opportunities for my future. I would think so too and I congratulate you on being chosen to participate. Thank you. Do you know what university is really unique because you're testing all the time, it's not merely a university, it's operating isn't it? Yeah. Testing the air, testing the electricity. All oh, right, yeah, because you know, uh, uh, it's a kind of like a, uh, energy uh, saving uh, experimental, unit, uh, experimental, and you know, it has been proven that uh, uh, the electricity, you know, that we have to pay the utilities uh, are lower than uh, conventional, <laughs> considerably lower. Mm. It's not just a marginal difference, you've reduced it a great deal, haven't you? Uh, yes, you know, like uh, in designing, you know, like uh, we design that, you know, uh, you don't have to turn on the electricity so much because, you know, the light can come in from, you know, the outside and like the acoustics, you know, uh, there's no need to use the loudspeaker or the microphone because the, the lecturer, the professor can just talk to, to the class without using them because, this you know, the acoustic extremely is, interesting. Is isn't it? Because we have to save energy. Right. And you're actually doing it. It's not a dream at you know what university. Yeah, we you're are actually doing, doing it. it. Right. Mm. You know, from the very beginning, you know, like ten years ago. Could you imagine? And and this, you know, global warming issue is now, you know, uh, brought into attention, you know, uh, for uh, people around the world and, and we've started that a long time ago. And people we still didn't continue want to it. accept it, did they? People didn't want to admit that it was happening. Well, the attitude I think was it'll be all right, but it won't be all right. I think some people do care for it now because they, they sense, you know, uh, and they see the evidence that, you know, uh, a lot of countries around the world uh, have, you know, some effect or some impact from this global warming Good incident. Much, Where do you feel this experience will lead you with a career? Mm. I think that uh, to achieve to my career is not only need like one one objective mm -hmm. or something, but it's composed of many things that built me up. And at Shinawatra University, it's not only what I mentioned that about the abroad things, but also everyday life in the university also teach me and help me in my future career. Like you was talking about the global warming and the things about it. Actually, at our university, we just like few months ago we have like mangrove foresting that like 20 students go together and it's like what we got from the 
project is not only we help the environment, but it's also create the unity in our students because as she already mentioned that we have small number of students. Yes. So it's better and it's easier to make us unite with each other. Well, I'm very, very pleased that both of you came today. <laughs> Thank you very much for sharing it with us. And congratulations on what you're doing. Sawadika. After this little reminder, I'll introduce my next guest to you. Once a jolly swagman who can't buy a billabong under the shade of a cooler battery.